One vote. That is the lead. Assemblymember Evan Lowe has over Supervisor Joe Samidian in the race to replace Congresswoman Anna Eshi. You can see Evan Lowe here with 30,211, 30,210 for Joe Samidian. One of those two is going to face former San Jose mayor here, Sam Licardo, in the general election come November. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live tonight in San Jose with the very late one vote, Jesse. One vote. I mean, this is as close as it gets. <laughs> well, or it could be a tie, True. Mike, and we. And we'll talk about that in just a second. We have seen a tie in this county before, but for right now, one vote separating two men who are vying for second place in the 16th congressional district in that stretches from Santa Clara and into San Mateo County. So they're collecting votes in both counties and having to tabulate. And as Mike said, one vote separating. We'll take a look at the numbers again. Sam Licardo continues to be and is ensconced in first place with 21 percent of the vote and 38,432. Then Evan Lowe is now second with 30,011. And Joe Simidian is now second at 30,010, 210. And that was flipped the other day. The county has is, is growing short on time to certify these results so the election can proceed in November. Wednesday, the seemingly endless counting of ballots from the March primary, continuing at the Santa Clara County Registrar of Voters. A slim margin separates Joe Simidian and Evan Lowe, with the second place finisher advancing to the general election against Sam Licardo in November. Have you ever seen a race this close before? Uh, yeah, in fact, in November of 2022, there was a race in Sunnyvale where it actually was uh, a one or two vote difference. After two recounts that year, the District 3 race remained tied between Jason Wong and Murali Srinivasan. The city election code called for pulling of lots to determine the winner. Election official David Carnahan put both names into a bag and pulled out the winner. Well, I sure, certainly wanted to make sure I only drew one envelope and not two. That would have been uh, uh, embarrassing. Uh, but no, I. I it's as the elections official, it's uh, an important part to, you know, resolve whatever needs to be done in an election. And so it was uh, maybe a little bit nerve wracking, but I was confident that we had a fair process. As the process for certification of all ballots moves toward an April 2nd deadline, officials in both counties say for this election, like all others, it's always critical for those eligible to vote to do so. Every vote matters, every vote counts. So even if someone will think, oh, my vote doesn't matter, it, it really does. It can come down to one or vote. And once the votes are counted, then the ballots have to be certified by the California Secretary of State. And if there is a tie, as it was in Sunnyvale, then the tie would be broken by the California Secretary of State. And how would she do that? By drawing lots as they did in Sunnyvale. Again, right now, one vote separates Evan Lowe from Joe Simidian. That was a reverse just 24 hours ago. We'll have to see what the next 24 hours brings. But this is flip-flopping back and forth. And as in the Sunnyvale case, it's kind of the same thing. And then it ended in a tie. This could be headed for that as well. Yeah, We're live the Registrar of Voters here in North... Oh, it's that razor-thin margin right now. I know. Jesse, thank well, you. You can't get any thinner. No, it sure can't. All right, uh, we do 